I'm back! No wonder we beat you guys so badly. One of you actually can't see. Here, have a ranking. It's free. Eh, I have a hunch that I might have done enough. Yeah, you probably should get that nose checked instead of rubbing it. Be grateful. Some of our previous opponents didn't even have noses. First of all, how dare you? Okay, I'm kidding. I've never actually had tofu. And I'm willing to try almost anything as long as it's not related to mangoes in any way, shape, or form. If I had the power, I would purge the world of mangoes so that they would no longer stain the earth with their disgusting existence. Smash Match? Is that what the Gen Z kids are calling it these days? Now that I think about it, if Mario and the others exist in this universe, then what does that make Nintendo? The government? No, wait, no, that can't be right. There are other official governments. They're... God? In that case, does this mean this is a religiously affiliated academy? I think it'd be weird for comparison's sake that any real-life academy would basically have crosses plastered on their courts, but you never know. Though it calls into question the fact that the one currently running Nintendo is named Bowser. Yeah, friendship and teamwork and all that lovely stuff. I'm sure we'll do fine. By we, I mostly mean me, but I guess you'll help out a bit too. But yeah, the future is looking bright! And now the sky has turned orange and the apocalypse is up on us all. Talk about bad timing. What? Did I just lose a game sitting? To Sammy and Sean? Of course you realize, this means war! Not shown was a huge rampage of revenge from yours truly, because as much as I can make it about my rage, it's still just normal tennis. And it will remain normal tennis until the next match. You'll see what I mean. You see this jerk? This jerk right here? He's not a regular human. I don't believe it for a second that he is. He must be tapping into some mystic power on the weekends or something. And I'll show you why. Did you see that? Did you see that? I'll show you another. There's definitely going to be another. Mark my words. There! Did you see that angle bending magic garbage that this guy pulls with his drop shots? I don't care about the Costello brothers, they're straightforward. For all intents and purposes, Spike is the final boss to me. Okay, you bastard, I'm ready for you. And by ready, I meant not ready at all. Now get out of my face, Freakazoid. What, did they expend all their energy during the match and die? That's wonderful news, someone break out the champagne. You have fans? Well, I guess there's hope for all of us. Sweetie, you can accomplish anything, except this. Wait, so you admit you fix the matches? Are we just gonna not dress that? See what I mean? Straightforward. None of that otherworldly bull that was pulled last match. Just people that hit hard and have great ball control. No selling of the soul to the devil required. At least, as far as we know. Man, I know it's tennis, but it's always weird to end a match point on a normal shot. Like, there's no fanfare. It just happens. And it's done in a way where I can't even make a joke about the lack of a potential joke. It's just not fair. And then in about two weeks, all their parents will do is ask, what's next for them? And why aren't they moving on or preparing for something else and pester them about it constantly? Oh wait, that's not a normal thing? 
Guys, there is an active babam at the entrance. Should we be concerned? I feel like we should be concerned. Also, why is the world named after this guy officially? Was there a consensus on that? Bowser must hate the fact that he officially lives in Mario World. I never agreed to this. This wasn't in my contract. Also, hi Waluigi. Well, that went just about how we'd expect. Also, is that baby Mario there? I didn't remember him being in this game. Man, things back then were still ridiculous. At least Pink Gold Peach was nowhere within a thousand miles of here. So what, Kate has no say in this? I mean, she doesn't, but it's still not nice to assume. How can I say no to two angry Italians and a dragon turtle staring me down? Bowser giving genuine thanks screeps me out. Does this mean we're officially part of the Koopa Troop? Because I'm actually down for that 100%. Kate, you just hit a princess! We're going to be locked in the brig for sure! I can't go to jail! I had a bright future! Granted, it was shortly overshadowed by an apocalypse that seemed to pass without much problem, but still! Okay, yeah, if we weren't in trouble before, we definitely are now. Jeez, I guess we are part of the Koopa Troop. Bowser must be crying tears of joy at this match. With this kind of violence, we'll be promoted to mid-bosses in no time. Boom Boom and Pom Pom better watch out! Forget mid-bosses, we could be actual castle bosses at this rate. They'd never expect it. It's all come down to this. I'm going to end this the only way I know how. Drop shot. Yes! Behold the drop shot queen! Wait, 54? Dang, 10 more and it would have all tied together. Bowser's probably thinking to himself, You know, I've never considered adding humans in my Koopa Troop. And the fact that they're girls would probably make my organization go over well with the diversity inspection. And I can apply for international aid! Wahahaha, <laughs> the perfect plan. <coughs> oh god, that hurt my throat. Yeah, I know what it looks like, but we're not done yet. Ignore the screen. Um, Emily? That was a direct threat. Are we just gonna ignore that? Yes? Oh, so this is like public school then. Okay, just checking. Excuse you? Did you all forget that I, an unseated player, beat both Costellos with my partner not so long ago? Let's assume that a year did pass between these things. How could you have possibly forgotten my achievements already? Did everyone forget about me? Did my traveling to Mario World wipe everyone's memories of my previous involvement or something? Did I win so hard last time that in order to protect yourself from the reality, you all hatched a plot to seal your memories so that they wouldn't haunt you forever? I kinda like that last one. Makes me ought to be an otherworldly threat like Cthulhu. As I beat Sammy once more, the memories started rushing back. And not able to take it anymore, she can do nothing but break down and cry. Good game. Alright Spike, you eldritch abomination. I've become somewhat of an eldritch abomination myself. And I've mastered the drop shot, just like you. Now we fight with our full powers in another plane of existence! And by that I mean I'll beat you at tennis. Defeated with a drop shot. Now I have proven that by myself, I am truly superior to you. Now back demon from whence you came. Seriously, does this look like a human to you? I don't think so. Does anyone else think that because of the line curve it looks like he has a Muppet nose? Anyone? Just me? K Kevin Senpai, y you don't mean. Mm. 
So they castrated you for your loss? That's rough, buddy. Maybe next time you won't use arcane magic to try and win tennis. Yeah, yeah, this is nice, but my goal in life now is to destroy Mario! Not because I'm secretly employed to the Koopa Troop as a warrant officer, but also because I'm a Sonic fan. Lord Bowser, you already know I'm not in a position to refuse. I guess this is a formality. I wonder if I'll get a double promotion from this. Kate will be so jealous. And just like that, Mario has been smashed! And that's it! Man, this has been such a ride. Though I still think that the advanced version of this game is superior in almost everything but difficulty. I even learned actual tennis jargon and techniques from this game. And it's what inspired my love of tennis. I truly, truly adore this game. But I adore the sequel more. Anyways, good night everyone. Remember to tip your waitress because the system of income within the restaurant industry in many areas is remarkably unfair and needs to be overturned, but until we properly band together to do that, help them out. Smug Cecil signing off.